Hendrick Motorsports getting the green light to move forward with an almost $24 million manufacturing facility in Concord. That's on top of a second roughly $15 million project it announced in February. The Concord City Council approved tax incentives Thursday night for Hendrick to speed up development. WCNC Charlotte's Colin Mayfield talks about the plan and just how much investments are rejuvenating the Concord area. Colin. Yeah, Fred Vanessa, Concord is experiencing a business boom as companies are pouring in to expand and attract investment. That's been the story for Hendrick Motorsports as they enlarge their footprint there. May I we accept the, the proposal and, and uh, extend the one-year 85% tax-based uh, initiative to Hendrick Automotive. Concord City Council passing a one-year tax incentive for Hendrick Motorsports and their new manufacturing facility. All in favor, raise your hand. Okay, thank you very much. It's a $23.7 million investment that will be built along Hendrick Auto Plaza Northwest. The site will house a 269,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility. Our proximity to Charlotte helped us out tremendously. This is the second such project just this year for Hendrick. Mayor Bill Douche says Concord provides a sprawling area for companies to set down roots and grow. We're 65 square square miles, which gives us a lot, a lot of room, but we've got to figure out how to keep moving forward with this. In January, Hendrick announced they would add 50 50 new advanced manufacturing jobs while expanding existing operations. They ventured to build a 155,000 square foot facility on the company's campus in Concord. Plus, you have the likes of Eli Lilly, Red Bull Roush, and others that have made investment commitments. We've had close to $3 billion worth of new investment coming into our community. 2,500 jobs, all paying higher than the county average. The mayor says Hendrick, like other companies that have settled in Cabarrus County, are looking for the space and proper incentives to grow. Not only do we have the large corporations come, coming in, but, but there's many, many others interested in being in our area because of our growth and because of our, we try to work with all, with all entities, small and large. No matter the size, the continued investment and expanding companies have brought more jobs and people to Cabarrus County. And they're broadening what they do in, in the world, moving up to other areas outside of the auto racing. So with this tax incentive approved, the city of Concord would still collect a one-year net revenue of more than $17,000. The total value of the one-year grant is estimated to equal close to $100,000 based of, on that initial uh, investment. Vanessa, back to you. Colin, thank you.